have another short video for you on how I align my astro images if I need to do uh, blending. For example, uh, blending the core of a galaxy or blending other details. Uh, also when I need uh, to align wide field astro like Milky Way and landscape images. I also use this technique when I'm doing a mosaic of the moon. It's not just for astro but it can be used in any type of photography. So yeah, in Photoshop you can use the automatic align tool but it doesn't ha doesn't always turn out perfect. So with this technique, although it takes much longer, you'll have full control of uh, the image. Okay, here I have two images of the Orion Nebula taken on two separate nights. No, nothing uh, fancy image, as it just to show you the workflow. As the images were taken on different nights, you can see the images are shifted. The tracking was done with the Skywatcher Star Adventure, so that means you have to manually frame the target and to match alignment um, on the different nights is nearly impossible. So you have a shift in the in the frames from different nights. Okay, so first we start uh, by changing the blend mode of the top layer to difference. This will show you the difference with the layer underneath. Simply simply put, if the image is completely bla black, it means you have a perfect alignment. So the bright parts in the image show you where the difference is between the layers. Now all we have to do is shift the image so everything turns black. First uh, choose free transform or shortcut uh, Ctrl T. Now you can shift or align the image in the middle as best as possible. If you hold uh, Ctrl you can shift the image by just one pixel and it won't uh, jump from uh, several pixels. Okay, you can see the middle part is good, but the sides are still not aligned. To align those, we can uh, use two steps. Let's start off with uh, one corner and press Ctrl. This will change your cursor to, the, to this white arrow <coughs> and now you can uh, skew the image. Uh, let's do that for all the corners so we get a uh, good alignment. So sometimes this is all it takes to get a good match. If not you can do another step by clicking on the warp icon. You now have more selection points which give you more flexibility to match the image. Just uh, checking all the corners on the sides to match it uh, as best as possible. Once you have a completely black image, you know uh, you have a perfect alignment. In this image you, you still see a difference in the star size. Um, yeah, I believe one, one image had a longer integration time, uh, so the stars are a bit more uh, blown out. But as long as the, the core is aligned, yeah, you're good to go. So yeah, there you have it. Now you can do a core blend or whatever it needs, uh, whatever you need from uh, from the layers, and make a uh, make a mask. So, as an example, uh, let's say uh, the layer 
at this color section that I really want in my top image. I only wanted uh, the purple area. So make a mask and you just paint over it with a brush to reveal the color. Saturated uh, parts you can you don't need in your image. Okay, so that's it for the alignment video. Any questions or requests you can always add in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.